Hi guys, I got a little tip for y'all when y'all trying to communicate with your spirit guides. Um, building a connection, I need you guys to sometimes sit. And if you have multiples, do one-on-one. -on -one. Call them by name, do a simple prayer, call their energy in. Um, tell them that you want to know something about their lives. Tell them, show you something about their lives. Sometimes what we perceive as our imagination is spirit's way of communicating with us. They'll give you a quick clip, a quick snippet of something that you will see. Um, if you see a house where people are entering the house and the house looks old, right? You ask the spirit, you know, especially when you know that you have like madamas and gypsies and native Indians and things of that nature, you know that they had something to do nature based, right? You know that they had some type of a working or some type of a protective measure, some type of something that they did. Ask them to show you some of their lives, Sh share with you some of more about them and start asking them questions, right? Use the tools to see if you can confirm any of the answers that you get, but you want to make sure that you write these things down in a notebook if you see a name, if you hear a name. Sometimes you won't get an image and you won't get a face, but you'll get a scenario or you'll get a background or you'll get something that alludes to what it is that you're asking. You got to start writing these things down. Opening up the lines of communication with them endears them towards you closer so because you're finally trying to find out something about them because they their energy is going to help you. So in any relationship that you build, you need to know something about the other person, the other party. Spirit is not any different. You've got to know them to understand their energy, to understand what they bring forth, to understand what it is that they can, um, what their job is and what it is, that, how they enhance your life. Also ask to show you in dreams if you're not one that gets it like that, you know. This is all a process that you have to build up, that you have to work up. That guided meditation is a necessity, right, um, for you to be able to get on the right frequency. So, because remember, spirit resides on a frequency, and if you want to hear them, and I don't mean hear, intuitively, you got to be on the right frequency. So that's something that you guys may want to try out.